Hey fellas, welcome back to Diorama update number 25. This is the first part to my Operation Ripper series. This battle took place during the Korean War. Uh, started on March 7th of 1951 and went until the final days of that month. So uh, let's go ahead and get into what we've got so far. I've been working on that Afghanistan dio for the past few weeks now and it's finished. So if you haven't seen it, go check it up on the channel. It'll be the video before this one. Now, while I was working on that, I took a break here or there for a day or two. Uh, obviously, work was had me pretty busy, but uh, periodically, I would work on this uh, EZ-8 right here. The uh, Tamiya M4A3 EZ-8 Sherman from the Korean War, the Rises Red Devils variant. I picked this kit up down in San Diego a few weeks back. And man, I'll tell you what, I've been eyeballing this thing ever since. I love the EZ-8. It's my favorite tank of all time. I play the dog shit out of it and hell let loose. It is just a magnificent tank. Um, but yeah, so super excited to do this one. Uh, I picked between this EZ-8 and a Normandy variant. I've done quite a bit of uh, Normandy build, so I figured, you know what, a Korean War build will be good, bring some light to the conflict, and uh, how you get the, the Rice's Red Devil right there so the whole uh, red double camo or face painting along with that I have the little to me a tent set the African core tent set now I'm using everything in that besides the uh, the German obviously um, I've kind of got the layout for the diorama right here the rough layout so the kits I'm using are the to me easy eight the uh, Tamiya tent set, you know, minus the guy here. And then I'm also using the Mini Art Village utensils. I'll be utilizing the bottles and uh, maybe that tool kit and some, uh, maybe the box there. I'm not too sure quite yet, but I know for sure I'll be utilizing some of these bottles, uh, Coca Cola bottles and whatnot. I've got uh, extra parts over here like ammo cans, jerry cans, spare tracks, and extra tools that still need to be put onto the tank, but will be added after once the uh, the tank is finished being painted. And I can actually add the final details. Um, yeah, also, this kit came with a really neat uh, machine gun. It's that, you see this a lot in World War II movies. Uh, on the Russian front. Now there weren't any instructions on how to build it. I could not find them anywhere. So I had to kind of go find it myself, figure it out myself, but it was really neat. I won't be using it for this dio, but definitely got some ideas for it. Now, show this off to you guys real quick. I'm waiting for one more kit to come in. This is the Mini Art US Military and Raincoat set. I uh, purchased this on Amazon. We're getting a lot of my stuff. I got these guys because the battle uh, where this took place at, it's the uh, north of the Han River, kind of just south of the, I think it's the 38th parallel. Uh, and it, during this time, it was, I got a video to show you guys. It's kind of rainy and wet. Yeah, so uh, if you want to check this guy out, there's his channel. It's the uh, name of the video. If you want to go watch that, I'll link it down below. But that, uh, yeah, so the, the environment, the, the weather there was cold, rainy, muddy, and a bit of snow on the ground. So I wanted the, uh, the raincoats for these guys that and I wanted it to be some type of patrol I was thinking about gathering some American troops uh, like a Tamiya set or something and then just making my own personal raincoats but then I saw this kit and I was like well it's mini art they do some really good stuff I can't pass it up so this works perfect because you got the guys looking off to the sides and whatnot and uh, works really good with how I'm gonna be doing the layout for the diorama uh, so this should be here uh, Let's see, this way I'll show off my 
my address uh, should be here February 28th to March 21st coming all the way from Ukraine so might be a little bit but that's fine uh, also I want to show this to you guys real quick this uh, Facebook group I'm a part of called military dioramas world builders group has over 35,000 members it's private didn't take much to join I post in here quite a bit a lot of my finished products and some updates and whatnot and one of the updates I wanted to show you guys uh, was part of this so I'm gonna read this to you on the March 7th the 25th infantry division attacked across the Han and held north inflicting heavy casualties on the enemy by the end of March the 25th infantry division held a line above the Han Ton River south of however the hell you say that uh, about 35 miles northeast of Seoul so this uh, sources are from this website here, the 25th Infantry Division, aka Tropical Lightning in the North Korean War. Now the, uh, the Rises Red Devils were a part of the 89th Tank Battalion, and they got folded into the 25th Infantry Division to support them during the Korean War. So anything to do with the 25th Infantry Division, uh, you can find here, I'll link this below as well if you wanna read into it, it's pretty cool. But that segment I read to you came from somewhere in here. Uh, yeah, but, uh, and then let's see, Operation Ripper, some info about that. Operation Ripper, also known as the Fourth Battle of Seoul, was the United Nations military operation con conceived by the U.S. 8th Army General Matthew Ridgway during the Korean War. So, uh, try to make this as accurate as possible. If you've seen terrain maps of Korea, north of Seoul, it's real, real mountain-esque. Um, a lot of big hills and mountains, so that's kind of what I'm going for here. It's a mountain bypass, and kind of go right to left. This is going to be slightly sloped right here, so the perimeter is the big blue line. This, this square right here where kind of my hand's covering, that's going to be the diorama. I'll cut it off of this uh, once I actually start working on it. But this right here is going to be a muddy road. This will be uh, just grass. These three lines represent uh, a cliff side, if you would. Kind of like a, a sloped rocky cliff. I'm going to do my, my best to make an actual rocky cliff here. Uh, there's going to be a path leading up to an observation post, and it's going to be made out of wood. Just kind of a little uh, place to stay out of the elements, but you're going to be able to watch over the road that would have been coming up this way so they could yell down to the tent uh, to radio in to headquarters or wherever the hell they got to radio into. And then of course the scout car is there in case they got to dip out quick. But the whole idea for this is the easy eights rolling down the road. Then you got that infantry I showed you guys kind of walking on both sides. And this vehicle is going to be on fire. I'm going to do my best to make this look like it's been destroyed. It just got shot, blew up. It's on fire, ash and all that fun stuff. I'm gonna be adding uh, some rocks. It's gonna be snowy, muddy, some rocks, and the trees. I'm gonna use my pine broom to make the trees again. Uh, they're just gonna be dead trees. So nothing, nothing like those up there. But uh, yeah, that's kind of uh, that's kind of where we're at for this. Also, something I think is cool. It wants you to put the binoculars that come with this kit in the uh, commander commander's hands. I'm thinking, you know what? This guy wants a nice, you know, almost frozen Coca-Cola. So he's going to be looking at his kill. Him and his loader are going to be watching the vehicle burn as they roll by, enjoying a nice cold Coca-Cola. Talk about a commercial for the 50s, huh? Well, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I told uh, Paul's model workbench, Mr. Mike, that I'd do an update tonight, and this is the update. So that's really all I've got for you guys. Thank you for watching. I'll be keeping y'all updated whenever something significant happens with this. Uh, this one's, I, I suspect this is gonna take a few weeks, especially depending on how the, uh, the shipping handles for that, uh, that one kit, right? It's gonna, it's gonna be a while. <laughs> But uh, hopefully not. Hopefully it comes early. So, anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.